This assumes that the diffuser as per service bulletin 49-8313 is installed on your 131-9A APU either from production or at APU shop visit. You will first need to get an encryption key from the Honeywell portal. Instructions for this are included in the service information letter listed on the screen and shown in a separate video. The encryption key is 12 numbers or letters long with numbers ranging from 0 to 9 and letters from A through F. It will be entered in three sets of four numbers or letters. You will also need the latest APU DMM software, which can be downloaded from the Honeywell portal, and a DMM reader, which can be ordered from Honeywell Ground Support Solutions. Whether on the bench or on wing, attach the DMM reader to the DMM and the computer. Start the DMM software. Select the 131-9A APU model. Select change specific DMM entry contents. Select SB8314. Enter the first set of four numbers or letters. Note that if you enter an O instead of zero, the software will automatically change it to zero and it does not matter if the letters are entered in upper or lower case. Click on OK. You will get a dialog box showing you what you have entered and to check if it is correct. Click on OK. Enter the second set of letters or numbers. Click on OK. Again, check what you have entered is correct and click OK. Enter the third set of four numbers or letters. Click on OK. Again, check what you have entered is correct and click OK. The DMM will be updated with the encryption key. You can check that the information that was entered is correct by clicking on View, File, OK. Check the information entered on lines 479 480 and 481. The line at the bottom will show that the activation code for SB8314 is valid until the encryption key expiration date. Note that in this case, it shows it is expired for P4321 because this is only a test case as shown in Service Bulletin 498314. You can now close the DMM software and disconnect the DMM. To unincorporate the encryption key, follow the same steps, but enter four zeros for each set of numbers and letters. Select change specific DMM entry contents. Select SB8314. Enter the first set of four zeros. Click on OK. Check what you have entered is correct and click OK. Enter the second set of four zeros. Click on OK. Again, check what you have entered is correct and click OK. Enter the last set of four zeros and click on OK. 
Again, check what you have entered is correct and click OK. The DMM will be updated with encryption key removed. You can check what was entered by clicking on View, File, OK. Again, lines for 479, 480, and 481 all show zeros. And at the bottom, the line will say, activation code for SB8314 is not installed. You can now close the DMM software and disconnect the DMM. Thank you.